What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Lone Star Trekking. We're back here with our... Actually, it's a cattle trailer, but today we're taking live chickens over to the Port of Houston. I don't know where they're taking them to. You know, out of the country, maybe. Maybe to Miami. Who knows? But that's what we're doing today. And we've already got them loaded up in our truck right now. Let's see if we can see them in there. Yeah, maybe. I think you see a little bit of them right there. So they're already loaded up in the truck. Let's uh, prepare to get underway here. Let's get back into the vehicle. It's already fired up, so I think let's get going. We got 228 miles to go. If we can get out of here in a safe manner, which, you know, isn't always guaranteed with us. giant billboard in front of us. Hope everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. Sorry about them not being a video last week. Just very busy over the last week or so and just barely having time to do things. So we're back underway though. I think I'm not on the road. I think I was in the field there. Probably was in the field. All right, let's get going here. Well, we had a job or a job, a crash. Uh, the game crashed. I hadn't done that in a while, but we're back at the start. Let's get underway here. Get going. Hopefully everybody's having a wonderful Wednesday. Or start to your Wednesday, whenever you happen to be watching this. Maybe an end to your Wednesday if you're in a different time zone as me. Get ready in the land down under. Get out of there. Get my right mirror turned on. So I didn't used to have the right mirror turned on. And I've started turning it back on because it's just helpful in convoy and also in just regular driving. Looks like we got a speed limit of 70 here, so we'll try to stay right around there. Got some construction, it looks like. Speed limit of 35. Oh. Must have a stoplight up here, I suppose. Or there's somebody crashed, or... I don't know what's going on. Must be a stoplight. Hey, this is how I felt when I was driving around town the other day. Uh, I had to, I don't remember what it was, I don't remember where I was. Oh, I was taking Rocco, my golden doodle, to get groomed, and there was just construction everywhere in town. 
it was crazy. They had like all the major roads were shut and they were just doing construction. It wasn't like accidents or anything, just construction. And I was like, we could have spaced this out a little bit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're doing construction down at the end of my road still. And um, it is... I'm hoping they get it done fairly soon because it is a pain. Anything on the side of town, like to go to the grocery store, instead of it being five minutes, it's now a 15 minute drive out of the way. So hopefully they get it done soon. And I just want to commend the people that are insane enough to drive through the construction because they're just over there with giant excavators digging out you know all the they're putting in like they're just like putting a whole new road down um all new um sewage sewer lines everything and i have seen multiple people either drive through the construction like where they've been jackhammering the limestone because Indiana like southern Indiana is a lot of limestone and so they've been jackhammering all this limestone and digging up you know it's just dirt and mud and everything and people have just you know listen we don't care we're driving through it kind of deal and it is kind of crazy to watch see these I've seen a, Sat a couple Saturns might have been the same person uh, but I've seen a Saturn drive through it. I saw a minivan try to drive through the one day and they got down to start to try to drive through and they decided to turn around, <laughs> which is probably a good idea. But I kind of wish I had like a webcam or something to, if I lived close enough to just have it going all the time and be like, look at all these people driving through the construction. Of course, that would probably, you know, give away exactly where I lived. sure what that button does oh is that my that's my jake break oh that's what that button does that's the horn that's the outside view okay i'm learning today don't want to mess up these chickens too much and get scrambled eggs you know what i'm saying I think this is one way. Exit left. I'm actually not sure if that's one way or not. We're gonna pretend like it was. Keep left. Getting seventy miles an hour. I like it. Maybe we'll get some cruise control in here as I stay in my own lane. Sure, about 74 sounds good. We'll cruise along here. So Rocco got his hair cut a couple weeks ago. Was it last week? Week before? I don't remember. I feel like it's been a very long month already. Uh, but yeah, Rocco got his hair cut. He looks really good. I think I need to be going slower here. Go straight.
I'd had to be going slower there. One thing about having a golden doodle is he's not he's a generation 1 golden doodle. So he his you know parents were golden retriever and um poodle. So he's still got like longish curly hair, curlyish longish hair. It's not extremely curly like a you know generation 2 or 3 or older golden doodle. So his hair gets long and bushy and everywhere, which reminds me I have to sweep the floor today. <laughs> it's a multi, you have, to, you have to sweep multiple days a week with him, which isn't bad. If that's the only thing, I have to do with him. I'll take it. Get ready to turn left. Turn left. truck gets up to speed really quickly but I mean we're only hauling chickens so it's not like we're hauling something that's extremely heavy my wheel feels funny in game right now I don't know why Also, hopefully you are enjoying the other series that we have going on after the end of the More Freedom series. Again, congratula congratulations to the double zero of Mudbone, who won the championship this year. Very, very exciting. Looking forward to next season already. Uh, if you're in the Discord and you're wanting to be a part of that, things will be coming out very soon. I have to do up a form and all that stuff for it. But we'll get that going. What is the speed limit? Okay. We're going to go with 78. Sounds like a good, good round number, whole number, or whatever. Don't be brake checking me, buddy. Looks like we have an accident up here. Oh, and almost another. Thanks that people got their lives figured out there. Yeah, so more Freedom Series Season 5 next year. I'm already looking forward to it. JTM and I will be working on the paint jobs for that. Get that turned off there. So that'll be exciting. JTM and I paint all the paint jobs for the More Freedom series each year. And hopefully we can get those all done over Christmas break. That'll be awesome. I 
I'll be off for almost an entire month, and I am looking forward to it. I'm going to try to spend the least amount of time I can on my computer for an entire month. I'll be in here. I'll play a few games here and there, but I'm going to try to be just away from my computer for a month as much as I can, you know, reasonably as much until I get bored. So like after the first five days, I'll be back in here on the computer because I'll be so bored. Um, hey, Steve, our driver made 2600 bucks. Nice. Good job, Steve. And Steve has leveled up. Steve is on the balanced, the balanced approach here. Where are we staying left? left? Turn left. Turn left. Looks like oh yeah, we're going to the left here. I could have stayed in that lane, I suppose. Staying in the right hand lane here. It's like this lane ends, so we need to get over one. Keep left. Keep left, and then keep right. So we're going to keep left, and I think we're getting off keep on the right. right. And then exit right. Okay. Exit right. Nice and smooth. Go straight. All right, there we go. Yeah, JTM and I were talking because we do a lot of, not only do we do all the cars, we, you know, we, we have a lot of history at playing the game and NASCAR 2003 is a game we use for the more freedom series. And so we get to, you know, we powwow a little bit when it comes to the game and trying to decide, you know, what we can, what tracks to use for the next season and stuff like that and so depending on the numbers we have for next year will depend on if we adjust any of the tracks for next season so I mean we, we don't have the big track you know like we don't have Bristol and I, I would say it's like a huge NASCAR track everybody knows Bristol right we don't have Bristol because of the number of drivers we normally have or the track that we try to use is just, it's terrible. I think I need to get over here in the left-hand lane. Keep left. So that'll be one of the things that we need to decide over, over the uh, break is what 
what tracks to use, what the schedule is going to be, and then if we need to make any adjustments on those tracks. So we figured out how to fix racing lines. So like if you watched the New Hampshire race, or was it Loudoun? No, that is New Hampshire. Or was it Miami? Um, Keep right, and then exit right. Is this a is this a dad gum? Right. It is a dad gum. Can I can I just can I can I go down here or I cannot? It's a dad gum. Yeah, so I think it was Miami, it was Homestead, where they were driving through the grass and all of that. So it it needs a change of the racing lines for the track, you know, the pit line. So that's one thing that JTM and I can work on is fixing the lines on the tracks and all of that. I wonder if I can, can I get off the highway up here? Or is that a NARP? Is that like underneath the highway? Or can I get off the highway here? Can I just get off the highway here? I can. We're gonna flip a U. Never mind. I'll find a new route. We're gonna flip a U here. In the Walmart's parking lot. That's what we're going to do. Provided there aren't any... Okay, let's find a new route. I've got this route, buddy. This is fine. This is dandy. Oh, trailer damage. It's fine. I'm going to turn right first. Get ready to turn left. See how we just cut that in, you know, like a in a manner of cuttingness. Looks like we got one car. Let's go. So yeah, we'll see about Bristol. We'll see about fixing like new, um, possibly some of the other tracks. Like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm trying to think of some of the other ones. Most of them were pretty good. I would say the ones that we had issues with are, um, I know Homestead, a little bit at North Wilkesboro. I think for the most part they were pretty good. What was the other one that had some issues? It might have been Indianapolis. Go straight. I am going straight. Continuing straight. Rerouting, recomputing. It said go straight, and I so I'm going straight. Go straight. I'm still going straight. Never mind. I'll find a new route. I'm going slow. Hello. Take a ticket. I'm glad there was no gate there. Is 
this might be where we have to enter a gate. <clears throat> sure. There we go. Go straight. This might be route. This is fine. And dandy. Yeah, see, here we go. There we go. Security check. Papers, please. I wonder if they actually don't pass sometimes. That makes it, I've always wondered that when we come in here to the game. I had a sneeze there. I'm allergic to security checks. I feel like I'm the only one here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I'm the only semi here. So, you know, we're just giving it a quick glance. Make sure there's nobody coming. Go straight. It gets to the left up here. Is that okay. correct? Let's find a new route. Oh, it's right there. We passed it. There we go. I know, I, I feel the same way. All right, what do we got? Where do they want us to put it? No. We're just gonna put it right there. Through the exit, which is fine. Why didn't I put it the other way? Because I know this game and I didn't really want to back this through whatever kind of wackiness they were trying to make us go through. All right. And get your chickens. Hey, we made $3,400. That's not a lot of money, but... We got 419 XP, so we're working towards level 14. And then upgrades to our driver and stuff. So, hey, that's going to do it for this episode of Lone Star Trucking. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out and uh, coming along for the ride. And until next episode, back here when we, I don't know what we're going to take next time. Could be cows, could be chickens, could be hogs. But until then, take care.